This is a video update for the Caddis Hatch. Uh, today we experienced some uh, water condition change uh, on the Arkansas corridor. Uh, we've had some implementation of some uh, different uh, flow implementation uh, to match some native flow increase. This is just a little bit of low level snow melt. Uh, it is not even remotely close to a runoff, uh, and so the, the uh, water has come up uh, about 100 CFS to around 360 CFS, give or take, which is great. You know, 260 CFS is just way too low, uh, and so if you're, you're floating this river or if you're walk wading this river, a flow of around 360 CFS is, is really a great flow all around. Uh, this will not affect the caddis hatch whatsoever. The caddis are primed and ready to go, and when they you know, decide that they're ready to pop and start to pupate and become adults, it will happen no matter what the flow is uh, and what the water temp is. So uh, at this point, uh, the caddis hatch will continue to progress and uh, march its way up the river. Uh, right now we're, we're looking at great hatches around Cotopaxi to Texas Creek, uh, as well as some localized sporadic hatches upriver, uh, almost to, you know, the Valley Bridge area in Howard. Uh, nymphing continues to be uh, very productive above that, uh, into the Howard, you know, Sal even Salida area. But the really prime activity for this coming week from today on will be uh, on the lower river uh, and uh, that could include anywhere from Spike Buck to, uh, you know, Valley Bridge. Uh, as far as rigging procedures, I suggest the same uh, kind of uh, rigs, uh, you know, in the morning we're, we're basically focusing on the caddis larva stage as well as the the, the pupa, uh, the emerger. So my rigs will include a beadhead pupa of some sort, uh, following a caddis larva, and then in the afternoon I suggest something like a, uh, a black foam caddis uh, as an adult, matching any caddis that may be on the water, as well as a non-beadhead pupa uh, as a trailer. Now you can still continue to have great success with a stonefly caddis larva dropper in the mornings or even with blooming olive nymphs and blooming adults. Uh, we will experience some overcast uh, here in the next three or four days and so we will have not only caddis but great blooming hatches. So don't forget to bring your, your beta spots. Let's look at a few patterns here. Uh, starting out with the adults and and one adult that I feel is uh, you know kind of covers two different uh, life cycle bases uh, is the clown shoe caddis and this this caddis pattern uh, you know very easy to see with that high vis post uh, and then the body tends to sit low in the water column while the wing floats on the surface. And so, uh, you know, just covers a uh, surface film uh, pupa as well as the adult. Great pattern to fish as an adult uh, or to swing wet and very visible. Another adult, obviously, you know, kind of a go-to uh, pattern for us is a dry ice adult. Uh, this is a dry... Uh, tied out of ice stub for the body, standard elk hair caddis imitation. Just a great adult caddis. Going into the non-beadhead pupa stage, you know, the pupa that sits in the surface film, uh, we suggest just a La Fontaine style of, of pupa in an olive. Uh, these black caddis are very olive in coloration at that stage. Looking at a few beadhead pupa, uh, you know, one of my favorite patterns during this time of year, and 
is kind of a new pattern is a hot wire pupa. The hot wire pupa, you know, tends to be one of my better producers this time of year. Hot wire body and uh, a lot of great partridge and uh, dubbing for a thorax and antennae. Another go-to for us is uh, John Barr's Graphic Caddis, except in a bead head. Uh, we like a tungsten bead, gets down a little farther. Of course, we tie it in a non-bead head addition uh, to go in that surface film. Let's look at uh, the larva. Caddis larva, uh, we're, we're going to be focusing on, you know, is a chartreuse prince. Chartreuse prince is pretty hard to beat. Uh, you know, a, a, really a prince is hard to beat, but when you throw a little soft tackle on it and that chartreuse wire body, it can fish as a caddis larva or it can fish as a caddis pupa. Then another, another great uh, pattern that is just a winner and has been for the last 20 years is Larry Kingry's metallic larva. The metallic larva has caught more fish than really any other pattern I can think of on this river year round. So, great pattern. And then to finish off, you want your egg layer. Egg layer is coming back to the water around dusk, uh, and one of the best patterns that I know of, uh, Little Hottie. Great pattern. One of Larry Kingry's patterns as well. So that kind of gives you a few patterns. Uh, if you do have any questions about rigging, feel free to, to contact us at the fly shop at any time, 719-269-3474, or send us an email if you feel, feel you want to do that, uh, info at royalgorgeanglers.com. Thanks so much for viewing, and uh, we hope to see you in the fly shop soon. Uh, this coming week, and, and really until runoff, is going to be some of the most productive fishing of the year. Uh, and uh, we look forward to seeing you on the water. Do also remember, uh, we are the only Orvis endorsed outfitter on, on the river, and our guide service uh, has trips daily. So uh, if, if you want to fish uh, some different water, some private water, get away from the crowds a little bit, uh, feel free to, to give us a call, and we would love to, to take you out on the water. Thanks so much for your time. Have a great day on the water.